Hey, welcome back. Today we have Zechariah chapter 9, verse 8. Listen. I will camp around my house because of the army, because of him who passes by and him who returns. No more shall an oppressor pass through them, for now I have seen with my eyes. So after the oracles on Tyre and Philistia, God says he's going to camp around his house. He seems to be speaking more widely of the Hebrew nation as a whole. He says he's going to camp around them because of the army. Of course, you know they've been subject to so much oppression at different times. He's shifting back to protection mode. Invaders and oppressors seem to always have been coming to exploit and subjugate his people. Now that the punishment is over, he's going to put out his protection on them again. It's a good thing. God has countless ways to protect his people if they don't sabotage it by their own behavior. And so now he's going to build them up. He's going to bring them back. We have to resist our own tendencies to depart from him. That's really where we usually come short. The most interesting part of this passage, I think, is where God says through his servant, for now I have seen with my eye. Now, what has God seen? What did he see that he didn't know already? Because God foreknows all these things. He already knows them before they happen. But what has he seen? Well, there's nothing new that God has seen. He already knew about this. But he foretold how things would be, and then they were that way. Now remember, God, when he made this universe, what did he do? He made it with a whole slew of intelligent beings, free beings, free beings who are not all-knowing as he is. And so when he says, I have seen with my eye, he's kind of telling us what? He's saying, it's just the way I said it would be, and now it's come to pass. You know, the, the theory or the statement of how it's going to be has now been matched by the development historically. We've seen it. You've seen it. You, my people, have seen it worked out just the way I said it would. God foreknew. He already understood. He already foresaw it before it happened. But we are not um, all-knowing. We are not that we can always foretell. He tells us, now you've seen it. God says, now I've seen it with my eye. In other words, now we've all seen it work out just the way I said it would. It helps us to trust in him. It helps us to know that he is trustworthy and honest and faithful and true. So we can trust him all the time, and he'll get us through the things that come along. You know, there's a value in theory and assertion, but once it's demonstrated to be true, then you've got to either say, well, God did foresee, he exists, and he does foresee, and he's telling us ahead of time, or you've got to figure out some other explanation, and I haven't heard any good ones yet, have you? When the future is foretold, just lucky guesses all around? No, God can see and foretell the future. He doesn't require it to be what it becomes. But he foresees it and he tells us about it ahead of time. Then we know that we can trust him. We should realize that God is aware, he's watching, he's trustworthy. He sees the injustice done to his people, not only on the general scale, but on a very personal scale. And so he, he sees and understands and everything that we, every persecution we undergo, every injustice that we experience, God knows all about it. And a lot of times we, you know, we, we expect this microwave fast, instant, instant solution. God will save us. Uh, where is he? He must not exist because he's not saving me instantly, you know, because we've been conditioned to have this kind of microwave expectation. Hey, God can answer it faster than the microwaves if he wants to. But he knows that we grow better under stress. He knows that if, if we learn to trust him through the, through the trials, through the testings, he knows that's better for us. And so he allows us to go through some of these things so that we can learn and grow and draw closer to him. So it's actually a gift that he doesn't instantly answer our prayers the way that we expected it would be answered. And so he's drawing us close. He's growing us. And that's what we want to do is grow heavenward. So let's just keep growing heavenward and let's not get nervous when God doesn't instantly answer our prayer because he's going to answer. He's going to answer in the wisest way and at the right time. And that's something that makes him stand out as our protector and our helper at all times. God be with you. See you tomorrow morning.